Hello, I'm Dennis Snow, and this is Speaking of Service Excellence. When I analyze the level of service an organization delivers, I often start with this question. Who is managing the customer's experience? Now, the answer is often the customer, when it should be the organization that manages the experience. Now, I know that many customers choose self-service options and want to handle everything themselves. But I believe that's usually a result of poorly designed processes that aggravate customers to the point that they simply prefer to do everything themselves. Here are some recent personal examples of the customer, me, having to manage the experience because the company abdicated the responsibility. A store I visited didn't have the product in stock that I wanted, so the salesperson ordered it for me. He told me when I could expect it to arrive so I could swing by the store and pick it up. I showed up on the scheduled date and was told that it hadn't arrived yet. Why didn't you call me to let me know? I asked. The salesperson apologized and said it should be in next Tuesday. So I was a little smarter the next Tuesday and called before driving to the store and, you guessed it, the order hadn't arrived yet. Now this happened two more times before the order finally came in. I liked the product, but I was the one managing the experience with the store, and I was frustrated. At a recent doctor appointment, I didn't see the doctor until 50 minutes past my scheduled appointment. Every 10 minutes or so, I asked the receptionist how much longer it would be. It will be just a few more minutes, was the response each time. Right. Yes, I finally saw the doctor, but I had to manage the experience with his practice, and I was frustrated. Finishing up a meal at an airport restaurant, I needed my check so I could get to my flight on time. My server was nowhere to be found. After a few minutes, I asked another server for my check, and she said, let me get your server. A few more minutes went by, and still no check. I asked another server for help, and eventually found my original server who delivered my check with a curt, have a nice day. Yes, I had a decent meal, but I had to manage the experience of paying the check, and I was frustrated. And just one more example. Entering a store I'd never visited before, I was overwhelmed by its size. Wandering the aisles to find the product I was shopping for, I looked for someone who could help. I finally found a couple of employees chatting with each other and asked where I could find the product. It's on aisle five. Well, aisle five was huge, and it took me about five more minutes to find what I was looking for. Yes, I found the product, but I had to manage the experience of finding it, and I was frustrated. So it's no wonder so many customers prefer self-service options. Since customers often have to manage critical parts of the experience anyway, they might as well manage the entire experience. And it's pretty hard to differentiate your organization when customers have given up on expecting decent service. On the other hand, when an organization effectively manages the customer experience, we feel understood and cared for. We appreciate their efforts, such as the doctor's office that sends the pre-visit paperwork in advance so that you can fill it out at your convenience and with easy access to your insurance information, medication information, etc., rather than finding out about the eight-page form when you arrive or the Walt Disney World parking lot with a cast member who directs you down a specific aisle of the parking lot, another who guides you into a specific parking space, and a tram operator who reminds you several times where you've parked. Or the customer service representative who explains your issue to the appropriate rep when transferring your call so that you don't have to keep repeating the issue each time you're transferred. And the auto repair shop whose technicians note your radio presets, and after the repair, reset the radio so you don't have to. In each of these scenarios, the organizations had thought through what the customer experience should be, and they manage the experience so that the customer doesn't have to. The result is that we feel cared for, and we have a sense of confidence in the organization, and that translates to customer loyalty. And in today's market, customer loyalty is the name of the game. So here's something to think about. What can your organizations do to better manage each element of the customer experience so that the customer doesn't have to? 
I hope that you found the ideas in this video to be beneficial. If you'd like information about how Snow & Associates can assist your organization, or if you'd simply like access to additional customer service resources, please visit our website, www.snowassociates.com. Thank you so much for watching.